Hi everyone, welcome on board to Hopper.tv where you get the reliable news that is tailored for you and of course where you can actually comment and interact. I say a very big thank you to those who have taken time to subscribe to this channel and if you're yet to subscribe, kindly tap on that subscription button and also the red bell icon so you will be notified whenever videos such as this are uploaded. We all know that abacha abacha loot is a very popular term. In fact, it has become a household, like a, like a song. It's like a, a, a nursery rhyme that is so common. Abacha loot has been recovered for more than 10 years, more than 15 years. In fact, Obasanjo recovered loot. But the problem is this. Where is this loot going into? It's like it's brought in from the front door and it goes out of the back door abacha loot is scattered all over europe and america and probably even at the backyard where you live you might never know nigerian government refuses to account for four billion dollar abacha loot and this is just a drop according to buhari he said it right there in london where he was interviewed by a cnn anchor and he said two billion dollars disappeared during good luck jonathan this money was a mark for issues that borders on security and all of that and the money disappeared he said all the money was pocketed so that's just two billion that was gotten from oil now we are talking of four billion dollars four billion dollars seems to be nothing right but there are a lot out there now the united states is opposing plans as we heard by nigeria by nigeria's government to hand over 100 million dollars that the american authorities said was stolen by the deceased former dictator sani abacha they have refused to drop the money. They've refused to drop the money. Now, Abacha took a lot of money out of Nigeria. That is not to say the present military dictators that are alive did not do the same. It's just that their sins have not been put out there. But Abacha died. He did a lot. Buhari, the present president of Nigeria, said Abacha is not a thief. So if Abacha is not a thief, who is a thief? Probably because Abacha helped him because he was put in jail by Babangida. So Abacha helped him out. So he felt, well, I can do more for the family by saying their father is not a thief. And we heard also that there are, um, this present administration, have, they, they have sympathizers, people that are sympathetic to Abacha's family. As they, are this, they are asking for the money, asking for certain properties to be released to them. What property? They claim is the property of their father. Money stolen. What a shame. Now, they claim that the disagreement by the United States may hamper future cooperation between the two nations to recover state money moved offshore by Abacha, who Transparency International estimates may have looted as much as $5 billion during his rule of 1993 to 1998. That's just an estimate, $5 billion, maybe more. A commitment by Nigerians to transfer the funds to Kebi State Governor Abubakar Bagudu appears to undermine Nigerian President Muhammadu Buhari's pledge to quell rampant graft in Africa top oil producing nation the united department of state says bagudu was involved in corruption with abacha the doj also contends that the nigerian government is injuring united states effort to recover allegedly london money it says it traced to bagudu buari's administration says a 17 year old agreement entitles bagudu to the funds and prevents nigeria from assisting the united states according to recent filing and um, filings from the district court from the district of columbia in washington now this is crazy this is crazy now femi falano is a senior advocate of nigeria femi falano has accused the nigerian government of failing to account for four billion dollars four billion dollars recovered from late head of state general sani abacha falano also said that since 1999 the government had recovered about four billion of public funds stolen by Abacha, but that Nigerians were not aware of how the fund was expended by the government, not just Buhari's government, previous government till date. Falano, who spoke at the anti-corruption situation room conference organized by the Human and Environmental Development Agenda, which focused on reviewing efforts of state and non-state actors in the fight against corruption in Nigeria. Falano said it was lack of accountability by the Nigerian government that prompted the cautionary insult of a United States Department of State official who mocked Nigerian leaders, asking them to ensure accountability in the disbursement of the latest over 308 million 
dollars were housed in the island of jersey but recently released to nigeria about four billion dollars recovered about child loot is yet to be accounted for money comes in from the door front door it goes out from the back you know like the yoruba say they say oleji oligba meaning a thief stole it another ham robber or rather ham robber stole it another thief took it so more or less that's the game one young state house official told Buhari's government officials that the money must not be stolen again. It is the most successful recovery of a stolen public fund in the world. We have not been able to recount for the money. Falano said, lamenting that a former president said he recovered $2 billion in eight years. But when he was asked to account for the funds after a court order, he said the judge was foolish. Falano said Nigerians have been battling public officials to make open the assets declared, noting that declaration was from the Latin word declare, which means declare open. He said the Code of Conduct Bureau should be told the secret surrounding asset declaration in Nigeria, uh, to, to be told that um, the secret surrounding asset declaration in Nigeria is illegal. An official of Transparency International, Mr. Anwal Musa Raf Sanjani, said the TI report is not about corruption by the nigerian government but rather focuses on perception and the corruption trends in the country so all of these it's it's a terrible thing it's a terrible thing now this case illustrates how complex and contentious repatriating stolen assets to nigeria can be this is according to matthew page an associate fellow at london-based chatham house and former nigerian expert for United States Intelligence Agency. Instead of welcoming United States efforts, Nigerian lawyers appear to be supporting the interests of one of the country's most powerful families. Neither Bagudu nor a spokesperson for Attorney General Abubakar Malami responded to requests for comment. A spokesperson for Buari said the settlement and the litigation were matters for Malami. A spokesperson for the DOJ declined to comment. Successive Nigerian government have sought to recoup the money looted by Bacha, who died in office. And have so far repatriated more than two billion dollars with the cooperation of other countries according to the u.s court filings in the case involving bagudu the u.s in 2013 initiated a forfeiture action against a host of assets including four investment portfolios held in london in trust for him and his family according to the district court filings now the doj said in february thoughts statement that bagudu 58 was part of a network controlled by abacha that embezzled, misappropriated, and extorted billions from the government of Nigeria. Bagudu is the chairman of an influential body of governors representing the All Progressive Congress. Despite the forfeiture action being initiated following a Nigerian state request in 2012, Buhari's government now says it can't assist the United States because it is bound by a settlement Bagudu reached with the administration of the then President Olusegun Obasanjo in 2003 according to the court filings under the terms of that accord which was approved by a uk court bagudu returned 163 million of allegedly london money to the nigerian authorities which in exchange dropped all outstanding civil and criminal claims against him stemming from his involvement in government corruption according to a december 23rd memorandum opinion by district judge john d bates in washington dc that meant Nigeria renounced any interest whatsoever in Bagudu's trust asset, including those the United States is attempting to recover for the West African nation. The opinion stated Bagudu was also able to return to Nigeria after concluding the settlement and was elected as, I want to point this out, a senator in 2009. Six years later, later, he was voted in as KB governor in elections that brought Buhari and his party to power. Now, do you see that the country is gone? After Bagudu successfully sued Nigeria for violating the 2003 settlement, Buhari administration reached a new agreement with him in October 2008. According to the court's filings, that will result in the transfer of ownership of the investment portfolios worth 141 million euros and that's 155 billion to the nigerian state which would then pay 98.5 million euros to bagudu and his affiliates according to bates december 23 opinion the funds are currently restrained by the uk at the request of the united states nigerian's government claims that the updated 2018 agreement with the kebbi governor which requires court approval in the uk will curtail and mitigate its looming exposure from the judgment in bagudu's favor the full text of need uh, of 
uh, neither settlement was published in the court filing. Buhari's administration submitted the 2018 deal to the UK court in September to support its application to unfreeze the assets so they can be sent to Nigeria according to the opinion. The court is yet to make a decision. So when Buhari travels to UK for health issues every time, don't think Buhari is traveling there every time for health. There is money involved. That is simply what we are seeing here. A man called Bagudu that was involved in stealing a now chieftain of APC, governor of Kebi State. He, he, at least he went into politics, he became governor of Kebi State. This same man is going to be given a certain amount of money that he claimed belongs to him. He has made agreement with Obasanjo. Somehow the, the, the agreement was violated. In 2003, he, he, he went in with his own person, his own people, and that's Buhari. And they came in again in 2018 to reach another understanding. Wow. Look at the amount of millions. We are talking of billions, millions, millions, millions flying right, right, left, and right. This is what it is. Are you sitting down there? You don't know what's happening. Well, that's what it is for now. If you're not a member of this channel, we can grow it together by you tapping on the subscription button and the red notification icon bell below. It will alert you whenever videos are uploaded. Thanks for stopping by.